Belani, the Belani of Shady. Hello, welcome back to Curious Ala Read. I am Curious Ala, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, subscribe me. If you still haven't liked to subscribe to my channel, please do. I appreciate all of the love and support that I get from you guys. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I review books on this channel. I love books, I love all things reading. Although I might be spicing things up in the future regarding this channel, we will see. But for now, I am still going through my themes and in the month of May, I am literally dedicating the channel to books written by other African authors. And uh, because um, 25 May is Africa Day, right? So this month, uh, last year I did the same thing, but this time around I wanted to look at African science fiction or African science um, fantasy books. So that's what I'm looking at. And the first book I'm reviewing today is literally uh, a science novella. And it is by a Nigerian-American author by the name of Nendi Oko. Okorafo. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Mindy Okorafo and the book is called Remote Control. This is the book I think is a good start, honestly, for the genre, especially which I'm looking into for this month. And I was so excited and I actually enjoyed it. So actually, let me tell you a little bit about Nini. So um, she's a science fiction uh, writer. She writes books on, on science fiction. It's based in Africa, actually. And um, it's actually a genre called African futurism or African jujurism, you know, depending on who you ask. Um, she's got multiple awards under her name, including the Hugo, the Hugo, the Nebula, and the World Fantasy Award. Now, I mean, that should tell you, like, she's got an award in world fantasy, like, for writing world fantasy, guys. So, yeah, she's got a whole lot of books that she's written on African futurism, and I'm absolutely here for it. So, this is the first I'll be reviewing of her books, probably, and I'm so excited. One thing that I will absolutely, um, that is, like, highlight, 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 this book is short, guys. It is under 200 pages. You heard me. It's under 200 pages. So you guys who are struggling to actually read and actually finish a book, I think um, the hack is to get smaller books. And Udlava Shop, you will be sorted. So let me get into this little uh, short book, but very, very jam-packed with action and just so much interesting things. So uh, Remote Control is about a girl um by the name of Fatima uh we meet her when she's like four or five years old and the story is based in futuristic Ghana so in this Ghana it's literally a world where there's robots and drones um and and and, and like all these smart technology self-driving cars but then we also still have your huts and your mud houses and you know some of those elements are still there. So it, it, it's, it kind of reads like a, it reads like a folk tale. It, real, it reads like a folk tale that you would tell your kids that once upon a time, there used to be this girl who used to do this, this, this and that. And so that's what it is. It's almost like a merger of two worlds. It's almost like a merger of like African folk tales and um, science fiction. Although the science fiction elements aren't as strong, but they are there. So, we meet Fatima, she's like four or five years old. We learn that Fatima is a sickly child and she struggles with uh, malaria. She keeps getting malaria. But even though, you know, she's a sickly child, she's still like a wondrous child. She's got a, like an imagination for days and then she loves the stars, right? So she lives in the village with her family, her mom, her dad, her brother, um, her grandparent, her granddad i think her granddad gets her into um liking the stars and actually following the constellations and so that's how she grows up right so when fatima is yeah around five um there's a meteor shower that ha that 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 happens and they see it from her village and this meteor shower is special because like the parts of the shower sort of land um, in her village and near her house and so the meteor shower actually is what starts this book and starts um, her journey so um, 
something strange falls from the stars and then uh, she finds it and it literally it helps her but then it also creates her um, so because Fatima was a sickly child after she uh, touches this weird stone seed like thing um, she is like sprayed by this like green mist and um, I don't know, there's some confusion that happens, but then she feels better all of a sudden. And then she stops being sick. And um, she loses that thing that 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 fell. It like goes onto like her favorite tree. And then life goes on, and then she continues living. Uh, and so at around seven years old, um, she feels she starts feeling these weird um, um burning up. But it's not the burning up that she used to get with like malaria. So when she tells her mom, her mom is like, oh, no, no, you're being dramatic. Just go play outside or something. And then her brother is kind of supportive and helping her. And then on one particular day, her, her whole world changes because that is when she kind of is reborn. I'm going to say that. And then we encounter Sankofa. So I'm trying not to give out too many spoilers, but basically Fatima um, gets in an accident and she's struck by a car and instead of like her dying, it sort of activates whatever that meteor shower gave her. And this leads to her having abilities that literally strike fear in people because these are the abilities which essentially kill a whole village and yeah so after that happens after the car struck her i'm spoiling it aren't i i'm so sorry after the car strikes her um she forgets her name she forgets almost everything about her except like she knows that she is she's got a family and that's just about it so these powers are activated, her whole village dies, and now she has to leave. And she's like seven years old. She's a little girl in a futuristic Ghana, and now she's trying to make sense of what happened. And um, she learns that this greenness um that she has um, kills, and it protects her. And so, because she noticed that this is why the mosquitoes can't bite her, animal, animals can't harm her, and then she also learns that um, her powers also uh, kill technology, you know? So, she goes on this journey, she, she feels drawn towards finding um, that seed that fell in her, 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 her home. Um, she had actually, like, it had actually come up again, and she had actually put it in, like, a little treasure chest like a box um and it was her box and she kept telling everyone it's my box you know it's my seed it's special but then her family sold it to this uh, corrupt politician and i think she felt she feels like um the whole journey or her whole the sequence of events that followed is literally because she lost that seed so she goes on a journey to find it so she believes that if she finds it it might be able to rewrite everything, you know? And so that's what she does. She's drawn towards it. So she keeps walking through all these different villages looking for it. And But as she walks through these villages, um, people have, 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 have given her a name. She's like the urban legend walking in real life uh people are some people are scared of her others are actually looking for her because they know that she can bring death um she sort of learns to control her power to a certain extent and um it actually forces her to grow up really 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 quickly so these are the themes that are explored in this book so we see the themes of family and belonging uh loneliness um it's, it's not really a coming of age, but yes, because she, she, she finds herself, in a sense, in this new normal of hers. So there's like loneliness, um, uh, belonging, and power. And we see power through her and her abilities and what that translates into like everyone else that is around her. 
and then we also see it in the corrupt politician and what happened to him and um, her feeling this loneliness and also looking for a place to belong because now she's got these powers people don't want her um they 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 they, they fear her so when she gets to villages um villagers are always like ready for her they 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 prepared things for her so she in her in her in her journeys and her walkings she's learned to ask for things she's learned to sort of demand things and so when she gets to her village um they already have prepared her favorite food they've got clothes for her they've just like ready for her and in the hopes that um she will spare them and she literally is they call her the what dead daughter or something like that and so she learns to find her voice and to you know stand her ground in a sense and her only friend really is a jackal slash fox um by the name of Morven pig which uh is impervious to her powers so she can't it can't kill she can't kill it so yeah it, it's it's really lonely it's a very lonely journey it's really sad and especially when you consider how old she is but i loved it i am rating it a four out of five star of stars i loved the world building i loved um i loved the little girl sankofa i loved how unexpected it was i liked how it starts and um how it also ends how she finds people on her side in a sense um yeah and you know it was it was sad it was lonely but it was the best start to my um african futurism science novella um books and i thank you namely for actually writing this book it is a book i think that should be read by uh young adults and also like kids you know um i think they would be able to relate to sankofa and about belonging and 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 being loved and just finding a purpose in this world because that's one thing that she keeps asking is why why her why was she given these abilities you know to what end and i don't think we actually get an answer to that question you know and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this review please do leave a comment down below let me know what you think down below and i will see you in the next one so bye